we have here is our sweet chestnut. It's an old tree, it's been in the garden since before we came here, so it's an old estate tree. And we really wanted to try and keep this tree for another generation, or maybe two or three generations. So what we've done for the last two years is to try and improve the conditions, firstly around the roots, and then moving on to actually work on the top. Because one of the things with this tree is it's what we call is in decline. So it's reached maturity and now it's starting to sort of die back. It's a natural event for these trees. And that's how they become veteran trees. So they become really old, really good for biodiversity. And we want to retain them. The first time we started to notice there was something wrong with this tree was about three years ago. And the outer canopy started to die back. And we kind of wondered what was going on. And one of the things when you start to see the sort of whole tree or the bigger canopy area start to die off, it's normally an indication that there's something wrong with the roots. So what we started to do was investigate the soil around about the tree and it's what it was in its rooting zone. And what we found was is that the, uh, the soil was compacted and the water that should have been sinking down and going draining away was actually sitting on the surface. And what that was preventing was the oxygen or the air getting around the roots, which gives the vitality to the root system. So having discovered that, then we, what we were able to do is to use the decompressor and air machine to actually break up that compaction so we can allow the moisture to um, go down, but the air can be in there as well. And then what we had to do was to actually cheat nature a bit. We've actually taken in the crown. So we, we have had Paul and Chris out on site and what they've been doing is actually taking the bigger branches out a lot of those you can see where the decay is they're actually dying back anyway naturally and what we've done is we've decided to take those back in sooner um, so that it's safer for the public and things around so we can keep it here hi my name is paul milani and i'm an arborist at the royal botanic gardens edinburgh And the points that we've chosen are where the tree is naturally breaking away. So you can see the new shoots coming away. If we see all the feather regrowth, that's where we saw life in the canopy last year. So we've cut back to that point. And our hope is that from this point, now we've taken the tree in, it's going to be less vulnerable to the wind, which might cause it to break. And that these shoots will break away. And if they don't, then it will fall back into the lower canopy in here and we'll get a new tree starting to form within there. So what we're hoping is next year, the upper area will get some growth in there and we'll monitor and see. And if it doesn't quite work up there, if it starts to die back further, then we might do a little bit more pruning work in. But our hope is that in sort of three years time, what we'll find is that in the center there, there'll be a much more denser and more invigorated crown.